Hey guys. How'd it go? Any questions, issues, problems? Solutions? Let's see. Oh. <laughs> uh, good, Matthew. Yeah. Of course, pixies. Yes. Yeah, loving it. Fun 3D modeling. Alright. Good. Well, it seems that no one's stuck. Awesome, yes. Let's continue with this. Let's now talk about capturing your work and how to navigate around the model a little bit better. So, come back. All right, we'll talk about it. try your own. Um, so, what we're going to do with that? like to now so hopefully again now you feel comfortable navigating right so I'm holding shift and, and right click I'm moving to this to the moving the window right um, now there's this other method of zooming in right so I'm scrolling right so I'm scrolling is, is the standard I guess way of uh, zooming in and out right um there's another one that is called the dynamic zoom right or zoom dynamic now that works and for my mac friends let's see what your keys are but for windows it would be control so you hold the control key and you right click and zoom in and out now notice that this does a zoom but it does a more a smoother zoom versus this one right here the scrolling that it just it's clunky by like click 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 right rather than doing that if I hold control right click and then move my cursor in and out right you have this smooth zoom which I uh, again the software calls dynamic zoom right something that um I like for us to practice is how to start capturing your views not only the technical process of like capture view export but how to place your camera later on we're going to get into what the camera is but i like for you guys to now place yourself as if you were a tiny little person in this world that we have built ourselves together so in order to do that notice that rather than being up here right somewhere above like we're all almighty we're all i almighty on this world right here right we can fly we can see everything like if it was a little ant right there like tiny 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 right uh oops um we can actually place ourselves now in a different scale which is a small scale right now notice that that's where our dynamic zoom kind of comes in handy and you know allows us to rotate right here all right so I want you guys to place yourself as if you were a tiny little person on this city of solids that you guys have generated and that changes your perspective right but literally and implied right i mean of how you actually would navigate around this space and again how you actually see the space right and I want us to capture a few views of this, right? So that we can start um, or that we can upload uh, for this first lap. So, and remember again, as you place yourself within this city, right, you can actually use the dynamic zoom, right? To again, get a smoother view of what's going on right here, right? You can actually see it's like, whoa, there's a pipe that I generated. Here's a torus that I generated, right? There's the cylinder or the uh, other pipe that, that was generated right there, right? And if I go underneath the grid, I can hold shift and pan right back up. 
Yeah. Uh, Matthew, right? Can you repeat what you did to get to that view? Well, again, it's just, um, so again, we're from somewhere up here, right? Uh, and and that, that's what we're trying to, to practice because there isn't really a command to it. It's more of a technique of how you rotate and navigate around the model. So let me show you what I mean by that, right? So uh, I guess we can start off by zooming in, right? So maybe maybe we can try setting up some rules. So maybe if you're if you're kind of lost, maybe follow along with me. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I want to place myself kind of right here in the ground. So notice that I'm rotating, right? So rather than being up here, right, I'm rotating downwards. So that again, I'm almost to the level of the ground, like that. All right, Matthew, plus. And then I'm going to use control, right, the, the control key, and then my right mouse, a right click, and then move my mouse closer to the objects. Right? So rather than again being like this, uh, correct, command, that's correct, thank you, uh, command and Mac. Uh, so rather than again being somewhere up above like this, like I'm Superman or like Goku, right? And just kind of come down right here, and then hold Command or Control, a command for Mac, Control for Windows, and then right click, and then zoom in or scroll in. And then let's say that that happens to you, just hold Shift and then hand up. and you start getting sort of this, a little bit more dramatic views, right? It's not the same seeing things from up above like this, like, eh, because it's a bunch of like stuff right there. But I don't know about your guys' model, right? Maybe yours is a little bit different. Uh, but once I start locating myself, and I can start moving maybe stuff around right here, once I start moving, positioning myself at the, at the smaller scale, things become a little bit more dramatic, right? And again, we can start seeing this as a little city, as a little world, Right, so that right, so ooh, like that, right, and then from there I can start maybe moving some stuff up. Ooh, what's going on? Why don't you do that? Oh, that's good. Okay. Right, I can move stuff around. There you go. Right, everyone can. Can everyone get uh, something like that? Is everyone being able to navigate that? And again, if you use the dynamic zoom, you can actually. Again, change that, right? C, all right. C is good, all right? All right, good. So then let's do some captures, right? So find, find yourself in the little world that you created and find some exciting things to look at, right? So again, there was kind of like a cool view that I was getting over here. Right? I don't know if I like this guy right there. On the, on the way, so maybe I can move it a little bit on the side. Uh, <laughs> the dramatic zoom, I like that. I think I'm actually now gonna call it that the dramatic zoom. Um, it's actually called the dynamic zoom, but Eduardo, dramatic sounds way better than dynamic zoom. I like the dramatic aspect. Not the drama, but I do like the dramatic, <laughs> the dramatic quality of these views. <laughs> that's 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 cool. <laughs> like I said, I kind of like that dramatic, dramatic zoom. Yes. So this dynamic zoom is control, and then scroll in and out. So what I see this as, and maybe it would help you to remember, it's kind of a, if you're into a film or filmmaking. Right, you see the movie makers, they have actually, um, you know, where they have the camera, right, and they have a rail, right, and they're actually kind of like creating the zoom in, the zoom out for, for this kind of like dramatic shots that you some, sometimes see, right, so you create this kind of like very, you know, um, you know, how would you call it, like immersive experience, right, so that's what I like about this dynamic zoom, that it creates this dramatic experience, right? So I would say try to get close, right? Maybe like, well, I guess that's kind of cool. It's like, no, 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 no. It's like you're in the middle of the city, right? So it's kind of like that. And for that, notice that it's a combination, right, of dynamic zoom and then pan, right? So control and then move your cursor in. Control, right click, move your cursor in. And then shift, right click. 
locate your screen. Maybe more zoom. And then you can rotate from there. So now I'm in the middle of the Apple campus, as Jose said, right here. All right. But then I can move away from that if I do my dynamic zoom. And I go out of that. All right. When I come back and I do this, and maybe I do that right there. And this and that. All right. Cool. So let's find something that you enjoy, right? Some dramatic view that you uh, that you like, right? Um, and then let's do some captures, right? So let's say I want to do that one right there. I'm going to resize my screen a little bit right here. So remember, map, right? View, capture to file. You're welcome, Melardo. Thank you. Right, so view, capture to file. Enter. Now, in this case, we're actually going to uncheck all of the um, settings right here. So again, the command was view capture to file. I would definitely memorize this command because you're going to use this command a lot. For pretty much, you know, uh, at least at, at the uh, at now the introduction of Rhino, this is how we're going to be exporting our work. Later on, we do other types, but. Uh, view capture to file, enter, uncheck all of these boxes right here. Let's have the resolution to, um, I guess the largest for me for me would be 1920 to 1080. Uh, it might be different for you guys. I don't know if this is screen related or not. But if it's not, then just mimic what I'm doing right here on my screen. 1920 by 1080. Does every, everyone get that? 1920 by 1080. Uncheck these boxes right here. And then we can click OK. Remember that a um, uh, a folder, um, well, your, your Explorer should come up, or your, I think it's called Explorer as well on Mac, no? What, what is this, the, the, your, your file explorer, your, your, your folders should pop up. Um, your finder, your finder. Thank you, Suilin. Um, your finder, that's correct. Um, I think we generated a folder last class. Is it okay with the other shapes from the other boxes showing that capture? Yeah, I think that's fine. You know, like I'm realizing right here on this view, on um, this big capture, like I have the lines right here, you see this lines right here? That's okay. Uh, I, I, this is just like a practice thing, so it's okay. It, it won't matter. But that's a good observation, right? I mean, that, that things get in the frame. Basically, what I'm trying to show you guys is how to frame your work, right? How to actually, like literally when you're taking a, a photograph, for those of you guys that are phot photography enthusiasts, right? a lot about it is about framing Composition and again, these dramatic angles that you can get. So, so that's what we're trying to learn. So, you know, hopefully it's a nice model that you have right there. Don't worry about it too much, Martin. But good observation. So anyway, we click OK. I think last class we generated a lab one captures folder, right? So let's open that right there. Where you should have the two captures that you uploaded on Blackboard. Uh, maybe we'll create a new folder and we'll call this. Um, let's see, lab one, part two. And we'll leave it like that, All right? Lab one, part two. And then I'll open that folder right there. And I'm just gonna not, uh, name this one. I'm just gonna name it one, one. So one right there. It's a JPEG, and again, I am on this folder right here. Dilio, select, uh, no, you didn't select, you save. That's it. Let's do a couple, let's do, let's do three. Should we do three, let's do, let's do three dramatic views like this, using our dynamic view. 
And again, if things are on the way, well, remember you can you can grab them, you can rotate them. Right. I don't know. I don't know what you got going on. Unfortunately, I, I usually walk around or the lab and seeing your work, but I can't see your work right now. So you know, just have fun with this. Or as Bob Ross will say, just enjoy it. Right. And I will do we'll do something like this. And then maybe I'll move this right here. So again, these views are going to be very different per, per person, so that's okay. Right. So there you go. It will do something like this. All right. Um, so we do um, capture. Sorry, view capture the file. Uh, okay. Same folder, number two, enter, and another one. And let's do this, maybe something like this. Use the box of the solids or the uh, solid surfaces, or try your own. Anywhere where you see that you have an interesting, again, dramatic or you know, like uh, exciting view. I'm just trying to learn how to frame here. All right, view, capture file, click OK. And we click um, three, save. Yeah, three is fine. You know what I mean? Uh, when I do more, Fred, I'm going to do. Is that cool, huh? You want to get more? Yeah, three is fine. Uh, I know, three is okay. <laughs> all right, all right. You know, um, right? The client, the cliente lo que pida, right? That's Spanish, right? The client's always right. So you want more? We'll do more, Alfredo, if you want. No, but that's that's okay. No, it's because I want to show you guys something. Because I want to show you, Sacramento. <laughs> I want to show you guys something, okay? So I was seeing that some of the uploads right here, and again, these, these uploads don't have name, and I'm not trying to blast anyone. You know, I'm just trying to use this as a learning experience, right? How do we actually, how can we actually convert our, our, our captures? And, and some of you guys did it, you know, the right way, right? Uh, which is this one right here, right? That, you know, you just, you, we don't need this kind of white space right here. Or you guys don't need to open a Word document and then copy your images, right? I see that more as a time-consuming thing, right? So you guys don't need to do that. So I want to show you guys how to generate a, a, a PDF like this one right here. Correct, right? So I, I think some of you guys, which I think it makes sense, right? I mean, some of you guys, what you guys have been doing is opening a Word document or opening a PowerPoint and then pasting your images and then saving that as a PDF. I think for me, that's more steps, really. Uh, that's more steps than what you need to do. Uh, so let's go. Let me show you how to fix that real quick, right? So open the folder, and I think I mentioned this actually not, not but you know, and it doesn't matter. So go where to go to where you saved those images. In this case, they're right here for me, right? One, two, three. So go ahead and select them all. However, hold on, hold on, before we actually do this, before we do this, actually, let me, let, you must have, you must have uh, Adobe Acrobat, which is what the, what the, the chat is talking about right now. So, uh, 
if you don't have it, that's okay, but know that you should download it uh, because you have free access to it uh, again with the Adobe Suite, right? So if you have it, great. Uh, if you don't, we're going to find out if you don't have it right now because you won't be able to do what I'm doing right now. And if you don't have it, you can download it right here, guys, right? So you go to your Creative Cloud, you sign in, and then you go right here to the left where it says Acrobat and PDF. And then this is the one that you want to download, okay? Acrobat DC. I think it used to be called Acrobat Pro, but I guess it's now called Acrobat DC. Um, this is not the reader. This is different than the reader because you can actually edit, and that's uh, what we need. Now, that being said, um, I'm noticing, I just noticed this morning, guys, that as part of the creative suite, and I know that we've had a back and forth uh, uh, about this, uh, Tori and a few of you guys, William, right? Uh, in terms of scanning your work, right? This is a little bit more for, for design, but it might help some of you guys in Design 3 as well. Uh, have you guys seen that uh, the Creative Cloud has a scanning app? I did not know that, right? So create PDF from images of paper, whiteboards, and more, all right? And of course, this is a mobile application because it uses your phone camera. So I'm doing a little parenthesis right here, right? In reality, what we need for the exercise right now is the Acrobat DC um, um, application or um, download. However, I know that for my design one, we've been, again, talking about the scanning quality. So I haven't tried this one myself. Uh, does, has anyone tried this one right here, actually, the scan for, from, the, uh, from Adobe? Nope. Negative. All right. Well, well, it's there, right? Because uh, again, we talked about iPhone. What is it? iPhone Notes or what was it, Tori? The iPhone Capture or, or or something. And then we talked about the Office Lens. Uh, yeah. So iPhone Notes, and then uh, there's the um, the Office Lens, and then there's this other one right here, the Adobe Scan. All right. So anyway, a uh, little parenthesis right there on the side since we're here. Uh, but again, for this exercise, what you need is this one right here, right? the Acrobat DC. So if you don't have it right now, I don't know if I would recommend that you download it right now because uh, you never know when you're installing stuff. I wouldn't want you to disconnect. Um, but remember, it's going to be recorded right here, so you can always come back to it. Anyway, once you install that, you go back to the, to the folder where you have the images. You select the images and you want to right click on them. And I think it should work the same on a Mac. Uh, and then you want to go into combine files in Acrobat or something like that. I think I have a different version from Acrobat, so it might be a little different, so please let me know. Combine files in Acrobat. So I click that. Right? Now notice that it gives us the documents right here. So what's cool about this is that also we can change the order. And remember that most of the time I ask you guys for an order, right? Like a top view first, front view, and then elevation or something like that. You can actually swap them here. In this case, I'm just going to leave them as I had them, which is one, two, three, right? And these are the names that I the files originally have, right? Um, Michael. And in Mac, what about Mac? What do you mean? Uh, yeah, no, so that's just what I said, right? I mean, I think in Mac should be the same. You select them and then right click. But uh, again, I don't, I don't know. Uh, please, uh, Mac people. All right, so it's the same. So we open it. We make sure that the order is correct so we don't have an excuse for submitting multiple PDFs or PDFs that are out of order. And then we combine. And that's it, right? Well, actually, I lied. There's one more step. We need to save this, right? So we go to File, Save As, choose a folder. I'm going a little bit fast. I think everyone should have it from here, but let me know if you get lost. We select the folder. I like to see, save them on the same folder, lab one captures. I'm going to lab 1.2, or 2, I'm sorry. And then I'm going to call this, you know, uh, App one part two. 
And then if you want to be extra explicit about it, you can call it combine and to save. I can close this and voila, right? I open the PDF, beautiful single PDF with multiple pages right there. Ta-da. All right, guys, because st I'm still seeing uploads on Blackboard that have multiple PDFs uploaded. Again, that's more time for you guys as well and for me, for, for both of us, because you don't have to upload multiple files. You can only upload one single file. And then also, we should use as much real estate as we can from the screen. So again, let's get rid of this uh, white spaces right here um, for frames, or you want to call this right here. And I should actually this I think this should actually streamline your work and make it a little bit faster. All right? Again, both for you and I. Because it seems that time is of the essence uh, these days, right? So anyway, that's what we have. Of course, you would use the images that you have generated right here to create your post. And of course, I would like to bring this up again when you're uploading on, on, on Instagram. Let's use again the app, right? Insta size, I think it's called. So that you don't crop your work. Uh, is this thing the right thing? Is this it, guys? I don't know. There's a lot of happy people right here. They're evidently not in school. I'm kidding. Uh, okay, it is? All right, so copy this. Um, um, upload without cropping. There you go. And I think it's three ninety nine. I think so, right? All right, guys. We gotta get going because we have still a few things to cover. So don't upload on. <laughs> yes, three ninety nine. Don't upload yet. Uh, I, I don't know, William. I, I don't think so. I think I have used it, and I don't think there's an in-app um, purchase. Um, but but I'm sure that the class would know. Oh right, yes. So I'm gonna give you guys uh, more instructions on how to upload this both on Blackboard and uh, Instagram. This should be not a big deal, right? You already have the PDF document. You already have the images created. You can do it like that, all right? Um, let's see. So Insta size, uh, it has some, but I think it's for like shading and adding other things. Yeah, we don't need the fluff. Uh, we just need uh, for it to just show us the image entirely. Cool? All right, guys, awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I'll give you guys a few seconds so that you guys can finish to wrap up what you're doing right there so that we can move on while I clean up my desk right here. And don't forget to save your Rhino file. So hit save right here. And we are done with that. And folders here, but with this as well. And that's it, okay. And let's go. Let's close that. And let's close this. All right, awesome guys. So, um, so okay guys, so uh, prepare yourself so that we can transition onto the next uh, phase right here. Don't worry about what we are covering, um, you know, what we're doing right now, just try to, get distracted because we're going to talk about the project the project is important i'm trying to find uh some of the uh, an upload so that there we go so who's this uh steph um do you want one desert geometry bam right there cool all right guys so uh let's put uh rhino aside for a little bit i know it's fun and uh, you might be wanting to try to finish the assignment but i can guarantee you that it's a uh, it's better it's a better payoff or trade-off if if you follow along with me um and then you know you can go back so have you guys seen this right here 
it's quite amazing, isn't it? It's quite beautiful. Right? I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I was one of those lame people growing up that I thought I was like, man, this landscape sucks. There's nothing here, right? Only dirt and dust, right? Like, and then, you know, you start getting a feeling, right? I mean, for really the beauty of the, of the desert. Um, it really show you can start being very poetic about it, but it really talks about resilience, right? It really talks about um, survival, right? So the fact that this species live in, in our backyard, it's it's quite amazing. And, you know, uh, I'm, you know I'm, I've, I've worked a lot now with uh, this kind of uh, um, geometry, if you want to put it that way. I always like to incorporate uh, a little bit of this into my classes. So I think by now you guys have seen the the tag because you guys uh, used it, right? Of uh, of the project, right? We're talking about that Chihuahua desert geometry, and uh, in the past, right? I mean, and uh, I'll show you guys just a few images right here. Um, I, I've done different exercises right here, but I was, you know, like to incorporate it as part of the project to have. A, an appreciation for our native flora right here in the Chihuahua Desert. So most recently, in, when was this? Uh, on spring of 2019, so over a year ago, for a Design 3 studio that, that I thought then, um, we, we got a little bit more into it. Right? We actually did watercolors of these um, uh, Chihuahua. We actually went to the Chihuahua Gardens, Chihuahua Desert Gardens at UTEP as a class, and, you know, we took photographs and then the students used that to do watercolors. You know, we don't have time for that now. And then this is a collection of those watercolors that the students did, right? And then from there, you know, it's about designing a, a building, right, in the, in the desert, uh, but not any part of the desert, right? We actually, uh, our site was White Sands. So again, we went to White Sands and this is the class, you know, and uh, it was the first time that I was in White Sands. Right, so that was pretty awesome. Uh, we got a tour, right? I mean, from um, one of the rangers there at the national park. Uh, guys, people people travel here from all places of the world just to see this place, and it's quite amazing. Uh, so I really recommend that you stop by, um, especially now that everything seems to be outdoorsy, especially before it gets really really cold. But it's quite amazing, quite outstanding, and there's there's the class, such a such a great class. It was such an amazing semester. So anyway, um, for us, right? Um, for us, right, Beyonce went for her B day two days after I went one time. Beyonce went for oh, the must has been in December. I think she's from December, so because uh, I'm from December too. Cool, yeah. Beyonce, Brad Pitt has been there. I'm telling you, you know. I mean, it's, it's quite a magical place, to be honest with you. It's, it's pretty awesome. It's, it's like you're in a different planet. Um, it's, just, it's really cool. The sunset is beautiful. Uh, but of course, the sunsets in the desert are just amazing in general. Isn't there a music festival out there? I'm not sure, but I would love to check it out. All right, guys. Moving on, right? White suns. Do it, right? Desert. Think about it or design with it. We're going to design with these plants that we have right here, right? So. Um, let me take you guys to what we're doing, okay? So, as you saw from the tag, right, we're using the geometry of the Chihuahua Desert. And as part of this digital media, some of you guys might have, might have taken digital media uh, already, or um, now as part of graphics, always do some sort of a logo, right? I don't know if Matthew is here right now, or I think Nick is here, and uh, Blanca. Right. Uh, we've always done some sort of a logo, and I change it up every semester. This semester, we're doing a logo for a plant, all right? Chihuahua Desert Plant. Um, and we're again, as any project, we're going to take this in a series of steps, okay? So we have three assignments for this week for the project, okay? Uh, so please pay attention to that, okay? Um, so the first thing that we need to do is to select one of your three species right here, 
right? So this is going to be your client. And there is, I, I just need to point out, right, there is no take backs, right? So you have three candidates right now. You may or may have not an idea what we're doing with them, but you went for them because you like them and because they were interesting to you, right? So don't look anywhere else. Look into the three that you use for this for the first part, which is what you see on my screen right now. And you're going to pick one of the three, all right? So let me elaborate more into what we're doing with them so that perhaps this can inform which one you pick, all right? So once you pick, uh, that plant right there, you're going to do further research, okay? Now, do me a favor and log on to Blackboard, all right? Log on to Blackboard and go to the Courses folder and go to the Projects folder and then go to Project Number 2 folder. I'll wait, all right? I'll wait. Blackboard, Projects, uh, Blackboard, Course, Projects folder, Project number two folder. Blackboard, course, project number two folder. All right. So I have created a video for each of those faces. All right. So follow along, guys. Part one, part two, and part three. They are approximately 20 to 30 minutes each. Okay, so your task is going to be to watch this video right here, right? Uh, if you did not know, you can actually, because this is very tiny, I don't, I'm not sure how this would look on the phone or tablet, but at least on the screen is really tiny. You can see it from here, or you can click play, and you can see it there. But for me, that's very small. So what I would actually suggest to do is to actually click up here and it will take you to the YouTube platform and then you can do whatever you do. You can magnify, you can, you know, enlarge it, uh, you can save it, um, you know, um, and you can, of course, pause it and, and fast forward, whatnot, right? So the assignment is going to be separated by uh, three phases, as I mentioned, right? The first phase, let's see what that is, right? So you're gonna do research of what a great logo is. Now there's some guidelines right here, right? And I talk about it on the video, right? I do not wanna see on your research the same images that I see every semester, right? Because we've done this every semester, or I do this every semester, and I always get these logos right here. I always get McDonald's, I always get Starbucks, I always get Car, um, I always get the Apple logo. Like we know that those are great logos, but I want you guys to do more research on that, right? And I want you guys to find more, um, I don't know if obscure is the right word, but you know, more exciting logos, right? So I'm gonna provide here, right, reference. Oh, I did it already. I right, use Munoz Pinterest board to start, All right? So I have, I right. already started this for you guys. And in reality, really, you just need to pick a few that you like. Again, my board is a start, right? But, you know, you should take it as far as you can. So, again, I have this one right here, which, again, cool, but we, we, we're tired, or I'm tired of these logos, right? Like, I've seen them. I know them, right? But what about, you know, maybe something a little bit more unique? Right? Maybe something, I don't know, kind of like that. Right, that's something that I don't really usually see. Right. So you're welcome to you know pick um, one that you like from from uh, this board, or you know if you click on any of them, right, you can then probably find some other ones right here. All right. So watch the video. I'm asking you guys to upload three examples. And the ideal candidate would be something like the one that I just passed, something that it's a little bit more in this beginning stages that we can see what's called its construction lines, which is something that we're going to be using, right? So this, for example, right? 
So that's great. That's beautiful. This is another amazing one. Right? That's pretty awesome. Right? So as a matter of fact, I'm going to save that onto that board right there. Right? And this one right there. But again, hopefully by now you've started your own um, boards, right? I mean, trust me, for me, they're a lifesaver. I think some old school professors have like a like a beef against Pinterest, but I don't just think they know how to use it, to be honest with you. Um, but anyway, let's not get into that. So anyway, take, uh, I don't know, I'm, I, all of this ones seem, seem great. And aside from what, you know, um, I always see, again, Starbucks, Apple, Nike, like we get it, we've seen them, we recognize them, but that's not all there is, all right? So that would be assignment number one. Right. I'm going to give you guys more detail about them, and you'll see the assignments pop up on Blackboard, but I wanted to go through this real quick. All right. Um, next, right, the next uh, assignment is um, species data sheet. All right. So in order to understand that, right, you need to watch the second video. Okay. Which is this one right here, right? Watch video. This one right here. So I'll walk you guys through that. You know, well, actually, I uh, I show you guys what what that's about, right? How I did my drawings, what type of drawings there are, because they're spe a specific type of drawing, or uh, you know, different kinds types of drawings, right? Uh, and some information for those drawings right there, right? So I'll show you guys. This one is the shortest one. It's uh, a little bit shy of 20 minutes. All right. So that'll be the second part uh, where we generate our first kind of drawings, which you'll generate something like this right here. And again, I'll let you guys find this on the video. So, so. It's, it's something like, like this right here. All right. And then lastly, right, we have the third part, which is the geometry extraction, which again, it's the third video, which, you know, now that's the more creative exercise or the beginning of the more creative exercise. And that would be this third video right here. Again, shy 27 minutes or so. And, you know, just walk you guys through that. And you're going to need your architectural uh, drawing tools, such as a temp your circle template, your sketch, um, you know, um, I'm using either the circle template or any other template. But watch the video. Uh, there's specifics about these drawings as well. All right, so there's that right there. And um, and that would be the beginning of the project, all right? As a plus, right, as a little kind of a side note, uh, just so I get you get pumped about the assignment even more than I'm not that you guys are, right? Um, are you guys on Netflix? You guys know about Netflix? I think so, right? Have you guys seen this uh, series this right here? Whoa, this is not chromatic language. Yeah. Have you guys seen this show? Abstract. Yes. All right, good. Oh, man, that's awesome. Great. No, but I wanted to. All right, Vivian. Well, this is your time, girl. This is the time. All right? Yeah. I mean, honestly, just watch all of it. Just You should devour this. Like, you should, like, honestly, like, you should know all of these names, and you should, like, follow all of these people, and you should really be looking up to them. I think all of us, we all should. However, for our project, I want everyone to watch this one right here. It's the, it's the second season. Season two, um, Ian Spalter, Digital Product Design. Does anyone remember what, what this guy designed? What logo design did he design? 
a bit this fella right here, Ian Spalter. For those of you guys remember, what logo did Ian Spalter talk about in this series right here? Correct. <laughs> the smiley face. I'm not sure if he's the smiley face guy, but um, he is the Instagram guy, at least now. So it's just mind blowing, guys. And this is, I, I really would like every beginning design student to understand what the design process is because it's it's quite beautiful and amazing right uh, the amount of versions that you know they design in order to generate this logo is beyond what i think any of us would really understand right and any of us would be there to do so um i think it's a great um episode to watch and be inspired for what the assignment uh, will be um uh, and again you know just check it out you know there's no questions. I'm not going to quiz you. I'm not going to, you know, there's no, nothing like that. Um, I honestly just would hope everyone get to watch it. I think it's something that you can watch with your family, with your significant other, and really start talking about what design is, right? And, and again, uh, you know, people understanding what designers do, that we're not just you know, kind of like smoking something, like, oh man, I see it, right? It's gonna be like this. But like, well, I mean, I guess you could if you want, right? But we really, uh, that, that that usually does not lead lead to the best results, right? I've been lived in San Francisco, you know, for grad school and you know a few more years. I can tell you that it doesn't work that way uh, always, right? Um, but anyway, check it out, um, you know, and let's discuss it maybe next class. See what you think about it. Um, so again, Ian Spalter. Ian Spalter. All right. Cool. All right, guys. So I'll let you guys, you know, just we still have one more thing to discuss, guys. Uh, we still have one more thing to discuss. Let's just take, uh, let me just pause the recording so you can break this. Before I do that, right? All right. So questions. Um, Suilin, when is it all due? Because to be honest, it's a lot and very overwhelming. What is a lot? Is it a lot, Suilin? When is all this due? Uh, well, this is due for next class, but talk to me, Suilin. What's, what's a lot? It sounds like a lot, right? I mean, my sounds like a lot, but I mean, like, okay, so let's think about it, right? Let's, let's break this down because, I mean, again, I did. So, so okay, so assignment one, right? Uh, let's see, where, where can we see this better? Blackboard. So 30 minutes, right? Video one. So this should honestly take you about watching it. And you can actually follow along. It should take you about an hour and a half, you know, hour and a half, you know, probably two. Let's say two hours, right? Two hours. Uh, video number two should be, no, actually the first video is just the research. The first video is just the research, right? So the first video should be like an hour, honestly. You know, it's just the research. It's just downloading images and uploading images. That should be an hour. Uh, video number two, that should be about two hours, right? And video number three should be about two hours too. You know, so that's five hours. It's five hours so far for the project, right? And then what else do we have? We have the uh, the lab. You just have to upload that. So that should be, what, 30 minutes the most? So five and a half hours, right? Five and a half hours. And then the abstract thing, I mean, fine, right? So an hour and a quarter, right? So, I mean, three quarters. So we're now at six hours and 50 minutes. Six hours and 50 minutes. And then the next project. Uh, maybe we can check it out first before panicking. It's a lot when you have design course too, but it's all time management. That's correct, right? Yep, design one, yeah. Uh, okay, well, I can see that, right? I mean, yeah, it's a lot if you, it's, it's a lot if you're trying to do it in a night. Let me put it that way. Uh, that 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 might be true. 
I, I, I'm just going through this because, I mean, I did, did the math, right? And like, well, I mean, honestly, per week, you guys should have like about 10 to 15 hours of work for this class. I mean, so, so I get it. I get it. I get it. Don't panic. Don't panic. All right. But um, you guys got this. All right. I, I like what Sabrina said, right? Let's check it out first. Let's try it before we panic. All right. So it might seem like a lot, but it, it's, it's, and I like what, I don't know who said that, um, William, right? I mean, it might be a lot if we don't manage it, right? I mean, if we don't manage our time, or like I said, if we're trying to do this in a night, you know, that's not going to work, right? That's not going to work. So, um, so yes, guys, all right? So just try it, Sulin, try it, okay? Anything else? So we're at six hours <laughs> right now. We're at six hours. Good. All right. I'm going to pause this right now. Stop.